Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on July 2nd, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you all. We are here for a reason still, folks. And we are here to actually see this phenomenon that is happening in our universe, in our solar system. These are our planets right now. All very close. You can see them all in the night sky. And then we just fast forward time here to July 27th when we have a very close approach of Mars and then Earth eclipsing Mars on the 27th. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, let's get to our planet and what's going on on our star. This is the Pacific Dis Disaster Center showing all floods, fires, earthquakes, strong storms, tornadoes, droughts, Hurricane Fabio, and Tropical Cyclone Amelia. Amelia is breaking down, will be a tropical storm by tomorrow, or sorry, a tropical depression, but also looking at a lot of fires in Russia again, same time as last year. It's very interesting. Still have Typhoon Properoon. Very warm temperatures in mid-Pacific. A lot of rain, a lot of evaporation. Also watching cold temps still dipping down across Newfoundland is the water temperatures. Very interesting. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. Uh, today, uh, throughout Alberta, we've got some pretty nasty supercells forming just south of Calgary. Watching satellite radar here, we're going to get quite a bit of rain this afternoon and tonight. Probably about 40 millimeters worth. And that's a lot of rain. So we needed it. But you can see just west there, there is snow falling in the higher elevations, very close to us. This cold front that is sweeping through, sparking up all sorts of daytime evaporation supercells. That's right, snow just southwest of Calgary. And all across southeastern United States, we've got a long line as the cold front smashes into the warm front heading across eastern states and Canada. Four states under thunderstorm and tornado warnings today. And here is a satellite image of Typhoon Praparoon, very strong category one and it looks like it'll be fizzling out over the next 24 hours, but you can see here a very defined eye. A lot of rain in this region as of late. Monsoon rains and plus these tropical depressions heading west. Mass evaporation, see that red? A lot of strange stuff in our skies, folks. Stay aware and prepared. And that's why morning dew is here for you. You're going to be going around here the world for weather this is the five-day forecast you can see another typhoon forming in the mid pacific ocean heading towards the philippines in the coming days this five-day forecast is brought to you by meteor earth and morning dew daily events worldwide watching Hurricane Fabio head northwest into the Pacific Ocean, breaking down. But you can see here that that cold front sweeps right across Canada, definitely cooling things down later in the week. Throughout Ontario and the southeastern United States as they've been dealing with some very warm temperatures, extreme heat pattern over the past two weeks straight. So that'll be a nice cool down for them. And then watching this area here where all those fires 
keeps barking up in Russia. It's very interesting. Tokyo, Japan, Korea, and uh, eastern parts of China. They're getting tons of rain over the coming days. So watch for that as well. Flooding conditions across those areas. And look at this large low pressure system just heading off the southern tip of South America. Right over top of Volcano Michael. The Michael Volcano. Around the world, we are seeing these atmospheric changes and a lot of people are starting to notice and look up more and research on the internet as to what is going on. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. Now I'm going to be getting more into that over the next few days. For those of you who do not know what a Grand Solar Minimum is. So stay tuned for that. Let's go to earthquakes for the last 24 hours. And we had this 3.8 up in the middle of the United States in Stapleton, Nebraska. 5.3 in Hawaii overnight as well. 5.1 in Japan. Shizunai, Japan. But it's been pretty quiet the last 24 hours. And let's just have a look at what it's like over the last seven days. Nothing like what we used to look at um, when I used to broadcast on those on these maps months ago. It was a very busy earthquake time. And we're pretty quiet right now, so that kind of concerns me. Maybe we're going to be hit with a big one here soon. Who knows? But here's a view of all the fires in Russia from NASA Worldview. Same spot as last year, same time. And look at all the smoke. You can clearly see a difference between the smoke and the clouds. Wow. Those must have been some pretty intense fires. And you tell me they're not trying to warm up the Northern Hemisphere? Tell me I'm wrong. <clears throat> I've seen the reports. They know the cold is coming. They know the mini ice, ice age is on its way. Here's Typhoon Properoon. NASA Worldview image. Here it is again, in motion. Heading straight north. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please subscribe, hit that like button, share with your friends and family from across the world. A lot of great changes coming to Morning Dew as this channel will be turning into a production company and I will be producing movies, sitcoms, videos, and any other media needs, commercials, I'm broadening my, my horizons. So stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.